Right here is an old metal cabinet that was spray painted white. I want to take it back to its original green paint that you see here on the bottom. So I did. Here's what it ended up looking like. There's content showing metal cabinet restoration with complete paint removal to bare metal and removing spray paint from vehicles, but this is not car paint. It's a industrial metal cabinet predating World War II, and I want to honor that. Grinding it down to bare metal and repainting it, it's going to be time consuming, it's going to be messy, plus this original paint may contain lead, and I really don't have a proper painting setup anyway. All right, what we're gonna do is try to remove this white spray paint to get down to the original paint without damaging the original paint. Before heading into your messy shop, be sure you're wearing the right clothes. If you're a dad, and we assume you are, dress like a dad. Mesh shorts, dad shirt, headband optional. Sources varied on which chemical to use, so test a few and pick the one that's best for your project. Okay, we're gonna try mineral spirits. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Okay, so I'm gonna try gasoline now. I'm gonna pour some on and let it soak for a little while. Let me try to wipe this off. Okay, we're gonna try acetone now. You women may know this as nail polish remover. Okay, well, it looks like the paint changed color a little bit, but I think that would take it off little by little. Okay, now we're gonna try some Pro Strength Graffiti Remover. I can see it bubbling up now, it's been about a minute. Yeah, there it's coming now. After letting this sit for a minute, wiping it off, rinsing it with soapy water, drying it off, this is still starting to release a little bit, so go slow and figure out the application time that works best for you without damaging that paint underneath. Due to frustrations with the amount of time this was taking for such a small area and the specs of remaining spray paint that you see here, I started to use a new method. I, after getting familiar with the working time, I was starting to get a little braver and I started taping off a section like you see here and just working on one section at a time. I'd cover it really well with the product, let it bubble up clearly and then I would scrape it off. The benefits of the tape really is simple. It, it just allowed me to have a, a visi visible barrier that I'm not working past this point. And also the width of the tape allowed a little bit of a overspray so that I didn't have product in contact with any painted area working while I wasn't aware of it. And it gave me a nice clean line in between sessions of doing this because I didn't have time to do, do this all at once and you, you may not either. That looks very nice, doesn't it? So then when you come back to work the next section, you'll put your tape on the original paint at the line with the spray paint. You can cover any uneven spots with little torn pieces of this painter's tape. And here I left this section for last 
because I didn't know how it was going to work on the handle itself and I wanted to have a little bit more time to figure it out. And Viola, the finished product, after four to six cans of this stuff, and there were still some small specks of remaining spray paint and some large patches on the side. Uh, not really sure why, I'm assuming it was better paint condition prior to the spray paint. I also tried applying this stuff and that to a huge area and followed that with a pressure washer instead of scraping, but really working a small area and using the scraper got the best results. It could have been a coincidence and those areas simply had the best original paint condition prior to the spray paint, not sure. Another challenge is preventing flash rusting on the bare metal. And to combat this, I tried a thin coat of motor oil with limited results. Then I used some carnauba wax and buffed this bad Larry out. And now look at that shine. And while toiling over this piece, I decided I want to add some casters. That's going to be awesome. And shortly after that decision and saddled with grave disappointment, I decided to paint those handles gold right after I grind off all this original paint like I should have from the beginning. This concludes the instructional portion of the video. And now, a DIY bother editorial. Well, here I'm back at YouTube corporate. I'm in my studio doing a little post-production. Let's debrief. Was this a DIY or a DIY bother? From the start, I knew this was a gamble that depended more on the condition of the original paint than on my technique. Aside from that, I didn't even know what kind of service provider I could really hire to restore this rig. I really wanted to rescue this old guy. I mean, it's probably over 80 years old and it still works. It doesn't ask for any special treatment or even any minor repairs, ever. Despite being relegated to a forgotten corner, this unsung hero has seen probably a third of America's history, possibly the best third when things and people were sturdier. And showing up literally every day at a thankless, unglamorous job, it held up its end of the deal with no complaints. Though it earned each blemish from someone's neglect, its function and appearance no longer fit in the new school's ethos. Suddenly, not worth the effort. Rather, any effort. Ever. It was thanked with a forced retirement and cast aside, like so many old things and old people in America. Ironically, the understated importance of its role led to both the neglect of an elegant, nearly plain appearance and its dismissal because it wasn't pretty enough for such a prominent position. To be fair, as much as I like it, it was never beautiful, but it was good at its job. Like Mick Jagger, it could have aged with dignity, weathering several decades of abuse with seemingly no preventative maintenance like Mick Jagger. Instead, by spray painting it, they tried to make it something that it wasn't, and it ended up more like Mickey Rourke. With proper care, this thing may last forever. Saving these old pieces and capturing as much of their original context, that essence, man, I, I dig that. Something about our blah, 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 heritage. I don't know. It's worth a try. This took forever. I mean, it's a cabinet. It's not, it's not my heritage, you know? It's not my heritage. And plus, I think adding wheels and repainting its original green with gold handles, it's going to look sharp and give it a distinguished military vibe, sort of like a really handsome four-star general. So if you're interested in buying the general, either as is or with those upgrades, go ahead and, that's right, go ahead and contact me via bidding war in the comments section. <laughs> All right.
Just kidding. I know no one's watching this.